Hello everybody, welcome to our lesson. Today's topic is the magnetic field of a solenoid. What is solenoid? A solenoid is formed by winding a very long wire onto a cylinder in the form of a helix, as shown in the picture. The diameter of a solenoid must be small compared to its length. This is the goal of the lesson. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to describe and calculate the magnetic field of a solenoid. Again, before we start, let's do the demonstration. We have five loops connected to each other instead of one. And let's see what happens when I connect the ends to a source of electricity. We see the change in the arrangements of iron fillings clearly. And inside the coil, iron fillings aligned in continuous lines. Let's zoom out to see the center of a coil in detail and move to the side of a coil. As we move to the side, we see that lines are curved and these magnetic field lines are similar to a magnetic field of a straight wire. And note that magnetic field of a coil is similar to a loop. Inside the coil, we have more uniform fields. The magnetic field lines diverge at one end and converge at the other end. Therefore, one end of the solenoid behaves like a north pole, while the opposite end behaves like a south pole, as shown in the picture. And from the properties, you must know that magnetic field lines start from north and end to the south. The magnetic field lines inside the coil are uniformly distributed and parallel to the axis of the coil. The field outside the coil is non-uniform and weak. The longer the coil, the weaker the field outside. An infinitely long coil will have zero field outside. The direction of the field inside the solenoid can be determined using the first right hand rule as shown in the figure. Curl your fingers with the direction of the current and your thumb will show the direction of the magnetic field. And there is a very big similarities between the magnetic field of a bar and a coil. When an electric current passes through a coil, the iron bar inside the coil is magnetized and it acts like a permanent magnet, but one which can be reversed and turned on and off at will, and it's called an electromagnet. Unlike a permanent magnet, the magnetic field of an electromagnet can easily be changed. Next, we will discuss what are they that can change the magnetic field of a solenoid. So there are two factors. First, the magnetic field of a solenoid depends on a magnitude of a current which flows through the wire. By increasing the current, the magnetic field strength is increased. And the magnitude of magnetic field is directly proportional to the number of coils per unit length. It means that the more tightly wound coil of wire, the stronger solenoid obtained. And now, let's check that and go to the FET simulations. We have a coil and a source of electricity. So now, while I change the current, let's see what happens with the magnetic field. You see that by changing the current, magnetic field also changed. And let's calculate by field meter the magnetic field at the center of the coil. You see, as I change and I, as I increase the current, magnetic field also increased. And if I decrease, it's decreased. Now, I will not change the magnetic, uh, the magnitude of the current, I will change only the number of coils. So note that 
If I increase the number of loops, the magnetic field is increased and if I decrease, it decreased. The magnitude of the magnetic field in the interior region of a solenoid is calculated using this relationship. Here mu0 is a constant, it's called permeability of free space, n is the number of turns and l is the length of the solenoid and i is the current in the solenoid. n over l is the number of turns per unit length and can be represented by small n which is sometimes called turns density. So the relationship can be expressed as follows. Also the magnitude of the magnetic field of a solenoid depends on the material of a core. The field can be greatly strengthened by the addition of an iron core and it's measured by the relative permeability of that material. The relative permeability is the ratio of the permeability of a medium compared to that of free space. If the solenoid is immersed in a material with relative permeability, then the field is increased by that amount. For example, if a coil of wire is wound around an iron core, then the magnetic field of a solenoid can be increased up to 200,000 times because the maximum relative permeability of an iron is 200,000. The previous equations are valid for a solenoid wound around a free space, which means the permeability of the magnetic path is the same as permeability of free space. But this equation is not used as much as the previous ones. So you have my blessings in case you forget this equation. Now this is the end of the lesson and if you like it, subscribe and share.